All right, just a quick part two of my review of the Yorkville NX-10Cs because I did have a chance to use them on two separate occasions for two different gigs, and I used them in conjunction with, uh, with just with a single DXS-12 sub from Yamaha. And uh, because the first venue was a wedding, I was up on a stage. The stage actually amplifies low frequencies surprisingly well in this. Uh, I was very familiar with this venue. So a single one had no problem keeping up with the NX-10Cs. And they were both up uh, actually on the same sub. I had the sub right in the center of the stage, two tops uh, right ab right above it on the pull mount, and it did just great. It it looked uh, kind of different. It kind of looked like uh, one of those Bose towers, just not quite as sexy, but it did really well. As mentioned, they were set center dance floor, aiming directly to that. So no problem. I love the sound of my voice. Uh, vocal reproduction was superb. I loved the doing announcements. Got really loud. No problem there. Uh, I used them uh, again for another wedding last, well, just a few days ago, last Saturday. Again with a single DXS12 subs this time. Uh, DXS12 sub this time. I was on the ground, and I had again. I was in right. They set me in the corner of a really small hall, so it's a good thing I had this little tower of power. I call. And it didn't take up much space, and the top speaker there that was on top of the pole was actually just perfectly, it was like ear level. I usually like to have my, my highs uh, just above the ear level of the people in the audience, but this was a 70-person you know, wedding, so it was just fine. I pushed them hard uh, most of the night because it was a really good party. By the end of the night, they weren't even hot. And that's one thing Yorkville has always excelled at is heat dissipation in their active speakers. I've never actually heard of a Yorkville uh, speaker thermaling out. So that's one thing Yorkville does very, very well. Uh, so they did really, really good. Again, my main beef with this speaker is a lack of high pass. I do not like sending a full range signal to, you know, tiny little uh, 10 inch speakers. That's just something that makes me cringe a little bit. <laughs> uh, when I tested them the first time, I did notice uh, some kind of low frequency roll off. But what I might have been hearing is probably just a limiter kicking into the, you know, the, the woofer's amplifier. They probably have some kind of, they do obviously have a protection to protect the woofers, so I think that's what I was hearing. And it's good that they have protection, but you know, it, I don't think it costs a whole lot to put a little switch that applies 100 hertz uh, cut off. That would have been necessary, in my opinion, for these little speakers, because I don't like sending a full range signal to, into small speakers. Other than that, they did terrific. I didn't see the uh, clip light or limit light any time during the night. Uh, as mentioned, vocals were very good. Top end is good. Uh, I'll say it again, I do not like the single knob. Uh, it should have been labeled FM on the left and AM on the right. That is my opinion because as much as Yorville says that when you turn towards the left that it uh, increases the high frequencies, I don't find, my ears are telling me it's just basically removing the uh, the sweet highs and the nice lows and it's it seems to be amplifying the mids or upper mids. It gives it it gives a nasally kind of AM quality to it. So I'd rather keep it either flat right in the middle or to the to the left where it boosts the the top end and the low frequencies. But I think the main thing about these speakers that's really great is the versatility. They are tiny, they are light, and extremely versatile because of the the, the way the pole mount works, where you can actually put you know two or three of these on a single speaker stand, or you can put two of those, these above the single sub, makes them really versatile. Not only for as front of house, but also as uh, for fill applications. You know, you can have uh, your typical uh, you know full range speaker up on a stand and have a sub underneath. And if you want to fill in you know the sides, you can just insert one of these. It's the fact that you can just insert it on a pole. Or the uh, the uh, example of someone who had an uncle who was an auctioneer, he could just bring a single speaker stand and have like three of these pointing in three different directions, except towards him with the mic, of course, and have a great system, PA system for, for auctioneering. So versatility of these is great. I'm running out of time on my SD card, so I'm going to have to end this quickly. But uh, anyway, great little speakers. Uh, they did not get hot. They sounded great. They got tremendously loud so I'm hoping in a version 2 of these there'll be a high pass filter and just different sound modes instead of the single knob control something like you know live sound or flat music and vocal setting you know just those three settings or even just flat and music so that's been Al from uh, Party Time DJ Services with the part 2 of the NX 10C review good job Yorkville overall uh, I unfortunately was unable to use the YX10 SP with, uh, with these at all Although I rented it for the month, but you can see my I just I'm gonna be posting this review of this little compact sub as well. 
So great little speaker, NX10C. I might just be getting one for myself. <laughs> I'm not sure yet. Love the size, the weight. Uh, great little little speakers. Great for a little backyard barbecue party as well. I'm actually taking them to camp shortly, so might have something else to say after having them for a week at camp. Take care, guys.